0.4 successive percentage change. In fact, the same formula can be applied again. And uh, let's do a very quick example. Uh, let's say if we have five thousand dollars, it is increased by forty percent, and then decreased by forty percent. What is the final value? And uh, since there is no new, no new formula, we can apply the same principle again. Five thousand dollars multiplied by one plus forty percent. This is the increase, and then decrease by forty percent. Then we multiply this by one minus forty percent. And after using our calculator, the answer is three thousand and nine hundred dollars. Okay, example nine. And uh, Dava wants to enlarge the picture on the right by using a color copier. Let's suppose that let's say this this is the picture, huh? and uh, the width and the height, the length and the width are ten cm and x cm respectively. And uh, he first enlarge a picture by hundred percent twice. That means two times. And then he reduces the copy by fifty percent. And uh, we have to find the final length and width of the copy. And so the problem will be like this one. And uh, the image is enlarged by 100% twice, and then it is reduced again by 50%. So let us find the final length of the picture first. And uh, the length is a 10 cm. And uh, and it, this is enlarged by one hundred percent twice, so we have a square here. And uh, again, this is reduced by fifty percent. Therefore, we multiply this by one minus fifty percent. And from the answer from the calculator, we have twenty twenty cm. And again, the final width. We will use the same formula. X cm times one plus one hundred percent square, and then multiply by one minus fifty percent again, and the answer will be sixteen cm. And we can actually see that the final length and the final width is actually doubled, doubled that of the original length and width. But uh, we can actually explore more on this problem, and if we find the original area of the picture, this will be eight cm square, and the final area should be twenty cm times sixteen cm. This is a three two o cm square, and actually you can see that the final area is four times. The original area, but the final length is only two times the original length, and you can see that it seems that we have some kind of relationship here. And actually, in later chapters of this book, we can find this this area, the ratio of the area, will be the square of the ratio of the size for similar figures.